Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. And please invite your friends and don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish. Our topic today is very, very important and will show us how Allah is almighty. Allah the almighty have a superpower. Not like uh, America or Russia, something really powerful. Allah Almighty, if you want something to be, He say be, and it's going to be. Allah Almighty, He can do things nobody can do. But as every hero have a weakness, Allah, He have a weakness. Let me introduce to you the most horrifying enemy to Allah. This is Juju. Juju is a very dangerous creature to Allah. And Allah and His angels, they cannot face such a creature. It's very dangerous. It's very harmful. He looks small, but his act is big. They call him puppy, but in fact he is a dragon. They call him little cute, but the fact look is deceiving. And we will show you today how Allah and his angels, they tremble when they see such a puppy. This is not only a life-threatening to Jibreel, it's a life-threatening to Allah. And actually, maybe most of you don't notice that this guy is wearing a bulletproof vest. This is how aggressive he is. When we try to understand the cult of Islam, and the Muslims who want us to worship a god, they call him Allah or Allah, which means the moon god. And then we see Muhammad speaking about dogs how dogs can do and they can screw things up like what muhammad he was waiting for an angel to come to him his name is jibreel maimuna the wife of the prophet reported him as saying jibreel promised to visit me last night but he did not visit me then it occurred to him that there was a pup under the bed so he ordered and it was turned out mm. he then got water in his hand and he sprinkled on his place when Jibreel met him he said we did not enter your house which contain a dog or a picture when the morning came the prophet ordered to kill dogs oh oh what 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 Do we have any Muslim listening? What is this? What what is this? We the angels don't enter a house, have a dog or a picture. Hmm. Why? What is the problem? Is that a voodoo thing? Do those uh, dogs eat garlic? Because Muhammad, he says, garlic is harmful to the angels too. So what we learn from the, you know, by the way, uh, I'm not making things up. Muhammad, he said that garlic, uh, angels will not accompany anyone who eat garlic. I'm telling you. They look like the angel of Allah, or like a, dra a Dracula. Even Muhammad, he forbid from those who eat garlic to eat to, to come to the mosque. Nobody eat garlic enter our mosque. No one. And then 
he count for us a bunch of food if you eat angels will not even talk to you uh, let us see the narration of Muslim is he who has eaten onion or garlic or leek should not approach our mosque because the angels are also offended by the way it doesn't say strong this is this is their own fabrication and translation so now what we learned that angels cannot enter a house have a picture or image or garlic you prophet do you have onion in your house because look how silly Muhammad is by saying that angels will not enter a house of anyone who eat any of those that's mean Muhammad there's no way angels will come to his house and every house have a garlic every house have onion because if the angels will not enter the mosque because of garlic they will not enter the house because of garlic too are we listening what is that this angel have a phobia and what do he have a nose you have a nose you like ha, 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 ha. what is that so a messenger of God is coming from the seven galaxies coming to your house he arrived in the front of the house and there is a little puppy inside your house and now he cannot get in Jibril he arrived in the front of the door of the Prophet he want to get in but then <laughs> what the heck is that I smell a smell of a puppy the enemy of Allah and then Jibreel he went back to Allah without accomplishing his mission because of this puppy by the way was this dog dead or alive Any Muslim have an idea? Was this dog dead or alive? I heard that this dog was dead. And he was there for many days. Is that true? Any Muslim here? Is it true that the dog was under the debit of Muhammad and he was dead for many days? Anyone here notice with me what the problem with this story? Let me grab you the hadith. I will look for it. Actually, we can find this in Tafsir Muqatil too, the story. But let us see. One of the books of Asbab al Nuzul by the Imam and Naysapuri. The book of Anna Saburi, page number 302. It says, From, 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 the Prophet, from, 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 okay, that Jibreel, he could not, or he was slow to deliver to the messenger. When he came to the messenger, uh, like he did not like uh, he stopped coming the the angel he stopped coming 
So the Prophet was terrified. Why Jibreel is not coming? Then Khadija she said, which mean or which mean your your God he forsake you. When he saw how scared you are. فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى So Allah, He sent a verse from the Quran, says, وَاللَّيْلُ وَالضُّحَى or الضُّحَى وَاللَّيْلُ إِذَا سَجَعَ مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى Allah swear by the sunset, Allah swear by the night, Allah swear by the morning as usual, and then He says, I, I did not leave you. And then He said here, it's been told to us, bye, 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 etc. It says, that the woman, her name is Khawla, and she was one of the servants of the Prophet. That a puppy entered the house, and he entered under the bed of the Prophet, and he died. And he was there for a few days. Actually, it says days, not few. And there is no uh, like delivery, uh, revelation from Allah. And then the Prophet says, O Khawla, what happened in my house? Jibreel, he is not coming to my house. Then Khawla, she said, if I clean the house, uh, sorry, uh, maybe if I clean the house, uh, with me she will find something. So she did start cleaning the house, and she put the, the broom under the bed, and she found something heavy, and then she pushed it out, and then she found a dead dog. She took it and she threw it behind the wall. And then the prophet came. And the angel came after that because the dog is removed. Let us change this page, uh, tr translate this page to English. Uh, hold first. Option, change. English all right let us read carefully with Google translation you know Google translation is not really too much accurate but it's better than nothing it says that the maid when the Jibreel he stopped coming to her the maid of the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him that the dragged uh, uh, the income of the house <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the dog, the dog, the dog in the, in the house, which enter, entered the bed and he died. So the Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him, for days he did not receive revelation. So this means the dog was dead for days under the bed of the Prophet. Here I have a very simple question. If we have a dead rat in your house, for one day your house will stink. How the dead, the, the dead uh, uh, puppy under the bed of Allah Prophet for many days and Muhammad did not notice the hilarious filthy smell. And then the maid, she put the broom under the, 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 the bed and she dragged it out and she noticed that there is a dead dog there. So for many days the angel of Allah is not coming. Why? Because there is a there is a dog. Not only he is a dog, he's a dead dog, which make it even twice powerful. Anyone knows what we are talking about? Again, this is the reference. You know. I don't know if that will come in in, in Google chat because it's in Arabic. Yeah, it doesn't come. I need to shorten it actually. Yeah, very long the link. So here you notice how 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 Islamic story is hilarious, is stupid. It cannot be true. First of all, dogs are creatures created by God. So if dogs are dirty, I don't mind by the way to say that like you know in a metaphorical way. Like I say, you are dirty like a dog. Okay, but 
to say that an angel of God he can't enter a house because of a garlic and because of a dog and then we find that this dog is dead under the bed of the prophet don't you notice with me that this is very silly and very stupid we are talking about God and Almighty God even the Quran described according to Muslims spoken about Jibreel describe Jibreel as one mighty one what one mighty how the one mighty which mean he made him equal to God which is funny because the verse there actually is not talking about Jibreel but the Muslims are confused so they have to say Jibreel because Allah did not come to Muhammad so how the Almighty or the one mighty Jibreel he was not able to enter a house because of a dog which is dead and Muhammad did not notice that there is a dead dog under his bed for four or five days Here, by the way, translation is not too much accurate. I would like to broom under the bed, and it was something heavy. And then I remove it. I brought it. It was a puppy. The puppy was dead. I took it, and I threw it behind the wall. And here, the problem of the Prophet solved. What if this puppy stayed there for the coming 10 years until Muhammad died? Islam does not exist. Hmm? What if there is a dog is buried under the bed of the Prophet which mean you cannot smell him not like now like now I mean how stinky this house is to the point you did not notice that a dead dog for four four or five days seven days We do not know for how many days Is inside the house and nobody noticed neither Muhammad neither the women neither the servant neither the wives nobody noticed that the there's and the dog is under the bed of the Prophet How stinky the house of the Prophet. I saw somebody saying that's not true. Are you a Muslim, my friend? So what we learn from this, this beautiful story, I was making a video about uh, uh, the Muslims they need the they, they are short is 74,000 to teach Islam in Indonesia <coughs> Yeah, right to teach terrorism So what we learn from this story brother a very very nice uh, 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 Reasonable story and it's very logical That we have a God his name is Allah This God who his name is Allah he have a weakness and he have a problem with dogs the angel he came to the prophet to deliver a message and then he felt that there is a dog inside the house this dog is dead or alive it doesn't make any difference and then later muhammad he told us many things about dogs as an example if you host a dog in your house what is the penalty for you as a muslim let us take a look first of all the prophet he ordered to kill dogs and this has shown us how merciful the prophet is because obviously dogs is his biggest threat to Islam the prophet himself is not receiving revelation because of a puppy therefore puppies are dangerous Actually, we should make a sign like maybe in the front of every house and you know just to say Dogs are not allowed because it's a threat to Allah And maybe we need to make it like a sign. It says the enemy of Allah Because obviously it's really scary We have God who controlled the earth and the heaven and yet he cannot now he have an obstacle big obstacle in front of his way he want to deliver a message to the prophet the favorite prophet of allah but he cannot do it because of this idiot dog can you imagine how much pain this dog caused to allah put yourself in the shoes of the prophet or in the shoes of allah or in the shoes of uh, the angel jibreel 
I am a messenger and the and Allah he sent Jibreel from millions of kilometers away billions of kilometers away Jibreel he took spaceship and came in all the way did not even take a break did not even sleep came in all the way to my door and then he see this horrible thing the enemy of Allah we're in my house and I am a prophet of Allah and now Jibreel he stood in the front of the door he want to get in but he cannot I want to get in but I cannot and Muhammad is inside the door what happened to Jibreel why Jibreel is not coming I'm really worried even the hadith says for Jazia Jazia and Shadid and which means he was terrified because Jibreel is not coming okay hold on hold on I mean the story is very funny and stupid Jibreel cannot enter the house what if he say hey Muhammad and Muhammad would hear him I mean stand next to the window of Muhammad don't enter the house look at the window Muhammad will look at the window he will see Zabriel Muhammad will say to Zabriel Zabriel get in Zabriel say I cannot get in brother you have to get out because you have a dog in there I mean Jibreel could not enter the house for many days what about he called him out what about he quit for Muhammad until he get out do he have to speak to him inside the house are you telling me Muhammad for many days he don't go out to the house just sleeping eating having sex <laughs> so here you see the hilarious part of the Islamic propaganda and then after that the Muslim they start making fatwas to fight dogs dogs are the enemy of Allah and not only that things is getting more aggressive against dogs to kill them and now if you go and search in the hadith you will find that if you keep a dog in your house this is how bad the situation is what will happen to you The Prophet of Allah said, He who keep the dog would lose out his of his deed equal to one kirat every day. Imagine you have a bank account, and because you have a dog, the bank take one thousand dollar penalty from your credit. Do you see how dangerous this is? is? Somebody is saying, let us ask Dr. Zach and Naik, and Zach and Naik will explain it for sure better than this, you know. If we ask Zach and Naik, I don't know if I can call him now, it's late. You know, last time I called him, he, he threatened me that he will call the police for me, the Sharia police, you know, with the long beard and, you know. So I don't know if this is uh, something, the right thing to do. I'm really kind of worried. We will call uh, the private phone of his girlfriend. Hello. Oops, his girlfriend have a sound of his boy. What is that? I have to hang up. Why his girlfriend phone have a boy? Hello. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, brother Zakanaik. Christian Prince, I told you one million times, don't even call me. I know you are going to bother me. I was happy. I ate big, big meal, and I'm going to sleep. And now you call me, uh, uh, brother Zach and I, We have a problem. Or would you have a problem? Because you are mental. You are stupid. Uh, okay, no problem. But uh, why the prophet he said that if you keep a dog, Allah will take one or two kirat uh, from uh, uh, from your deeds, just for keeping a dog at home. That's very logical. A brother and sister. This person, Christian Prince, is very stupid. It's very well known. I am a doctor, and you know it. That if you keep a dog in your life, that will destroy your health. As an example, there is a president, his name is Billy Clinton. And what happened to Billy Clinton? They found him that he was sleeping alone with a woman. Her name is Monica Lewinsky. If we trace the story, we will find that the first time he met her, because he have a very cute dog with her. And what end the time from this? If she don't have the dog, he will not like her. So look what happened. Because of a stupid dog, he commits sin. Uh, but this is not what we are talking about. 
uh, here it says Allah will take a credit from your just for having a dog not for sleeping around I will explain to you even though you are slow the prophet he said that because it is true as an example I opened my account with the Bank of America and then I found that I lost a lot of money and then I contact the Bank of America and I told them where is my money they told me you have a dog so I told them okay I'm going to throw the dog out I'm going to bring a cat and they said to me if you do that for the coming 100 day all your credit will come back so I bought the credit I be having a cat because cat is holy and dogs are filthy what this have to do with my question what credit what Bank of America uh, Zach and Nike, uh, why the dog are going to take out from your deeds what is the problem what is the problem of Allah why he is taking deeds from your account and what does that mean your Allah don't take deeds from for being a rapist for being a thief he would take it for because you have a dog what if this dog is hangry he want to feed him what if he's a is a he's a he's a sick dog you're trying to help him isn't it this is a merciful act first of all it's forbidden to do any act against Allah will secondly the Prophet of Allah he said that the women he gave a dog some water he will go to heaven okay so Allah he gave Allah Prophet he said the women who gave a dog a water she will go to heaven but then he ordered to kill all the dogs so how merciful the Prophet is he ordered to kill all the dogs, but the women who gave the dog a water, so you give a water to someone before you kill him? Is that mercy? Absolutely. As an example, we are going to kill dogs, but because, because before we kill them, we are going to give them water. Because Islam is all merciful. It's disgusting to make a dog die and you kill him, but he's thirsty. So first we give him water. And we say to him, do you want to convert to Islam or not? If he say no, we shoot him. Brothers and sisters, Islam is absolutely a religion of logic and sense. Credit, Allah will take from my credit because I have a dog. And by the way, in the beginning, Muhammad he forbid them from having all kind of dogs. But when the Arabs they start complaining, they need dogs. Everybody have a dog. You know, imagine at that time, this like dogs now are like kind of fantasy, unless you live in a farm. But at that time, having dogs is a must. It's your guardian. It's your alarm. You live in the desert. Having a dog is very important. So when Muhammad he ordered to kill all the dogs, people they start complaining. So Muhammad he said, okay, 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 hold on. Well, you can kill all the dogs except the one who is a guardian for you. And by the way, you are not allowed to have dogs inside the house. Keeping a dog, touching it, and kissing it. Fatwa number 98840. Yeah, somebody actually, uh, son of David, he said, what kind of dog Allah he have? By the way, uh, uh, this is one of the funny stupid things when when Muhammad was reciting the chapter of An-Najm uh, Good you remind me about that when Muhammad was reciting the chapter of An-Najm His cousin He said to him I'm not going to believe in the God of the Najm obviously Muhammad God is a pagan God what the God of the Najm, God of the stars. So he said to him, I'm not going to believe in the God of the stars. So Muhammad, he said to him, aren't you afraid? I'm trying to open the website of the kingdom of Jordan. Aren't you afraid that Allah will send his dog and eat you? Have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? So dogs are dirty, but yet Allah, he himself, he has a dog. And he sent his dog over the one who he don't like. Over the one he don't like. Let us see if we can find you the interpretation for this.
Uh, we are trying to find something in English. Hold on. All right. I'm trying to find it in English. I found it or for sure for Arabic it's very easy to find. But anyway, we found it in English, let us say in Arabic, I mean. We can use Google translation, it doesn't hurt. Uh, but this one does not have all the story hold on we need something else <clears throat> it's very very weird right that Allah <clears throat> himself you have a dog All right, let's see this one. Ah, this one is not opening. This website is down. Mm. I don't like to mention something without, you know, giving a reference. Okay, let's show it from Tafsir al-Tabari, but I could not find it, sadly, in English. This is Tafsir al-Tabari. And by the way, this is exists in many Tafsir. But I could not find... Uh, I could not find uh, the English version of it. Here you will see, this is At-Tabari, that when Muhammad is spoken in front of his cousin, supposedly, uh, he said, Utba, the man, his name is Utba, I don't believe I am a kafir in the Lord of the Star, which means the pagan god Allah. Then the Messenger of Allah, he says, aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? Then he went in a trade, this guy, who said, I don't want to believe in the Lord of the Star. And then when he was in the way to Yemen, and they were attending a, a wedding party, they heard the sound of a lion. And then he said to his friend, you know what? Today I will be eaten. And then they look at him, and Allah, he made them like sleep. And then he came, and he took him and they heard nothing but his voice here the story is saying the prophet says aren't you afraid the dog of allah will eat you then uh, uh, allah he hit him and when he was like in a, a, a trade business traveling they heard in the way a sound of a lion so let us make it clear that allah have a dog but he have a sound of a lion like not oh, oh. Like, rawr, like well, it's a lion, your brother. All right, let us translate this to English so Muslims will not say this is first of all, this is tafsir al Tabari. And by the way, this ex ex uh, exists in many tafsir in Arabic, uh, page number 494, 495, 493, value number uh, 20, uh, 22. All right, and this is your Islamic website, and this is tafsir al Tabari. Now we go to, go, uh, to uh, Google Translate, click Translate. All right. Muhammad says, aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? Aren't you afraid from the dog of Allah? Huh? Aren't you afraid? What's wrong with you? So he went in a trade and then the dog of Allah, he ate him. The story here is repeated. Be aware 
Uh, the translation is funny. He's saying to him, aren't you aware that the dog of Allah will eat you? Aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? Because you said this. And by the way, this is a miracle. As you see, the guy, he went in a trade business and then the dog of Allah ate him. I mean, what do you want more proof that this is absolutely... Uh, uh, sorry, guys. The screen was off and I was not looking. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I was in Arabic and English. Anyway, we go back. It's okay. It's my fault. The thing is behind the screen. You know, my screen is full of things, so it's, sometimes it's hard to see. This is Tafsir at Tabari. We translated the page using Google translation, which is not accurate translation, but it's in the front of us here. It says that the Prophet said to him, to Utba, when he said he, he don't believe in the God of the star. So he said to him, aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? All right. So when this guy, he went in a trade to Yemen, Allah, he sent his dog. And he ate him. And uh, uh, the dog, he have a sound or a voice of a lion. Any Muslim have a comment? Sorry, guys, the screen was off, but it's okay. We fix it. So here you notice that how silly the cult of Islam. Dogs are dirty. Dogs are the angels cannot enter enter the house of Muhammad, but yet Allah Himself, He have a dog. All right. Now we go back to Islamic. Uh, yeah, we will not talk about Iran now. Let us focus in these dogs here. This is more important. Because, brother, what Iran, what Trump? If this dog was not, if they, were, if they did not discover that this dog is under the bed of the Prophet, until now we don't have a Prophet, we don't have Islam. How we will be saved? How we can be saved? Because of a dog. You see how dogs can be harmful, brother? Question. Keeping dogs is a najis. Najis means filthy, dirty. Praise be Allah. Firstly, Islam forbid, brother, Muslims to keep dogs. And the punishment of that is one of who does that lose one, which means he host host one, or he will lose one or two kirat. And kirat is like 1,000 kilograms of deeds. Each day, brother. You see it? So the Muslims asking, can I keep a dog? The answer is no. The only dog you can keep if he's a guardian dog, hardened dog, and he have to be outside. Otherwise, uh, you know, the dog will will destroy your kira. Do we have a Muslim on a call? Us? There is a Muslim on a call. My, my Skype is not on. <clears throat> no, hold on. Let me open Skype. <coughs> Maybe there is a Muslim on a call. Us. <clears throat> All right. I don't see any Muslim. Who is the guy who is saying he wanna call me? The Muslim wanna call me. Where is the guy? Fake news? You wanna debate me? Okay, call me in Skype. <laughs> anyway we don't debate congressmen congress are not allowed in islam what congress this is this is kuffar thing since when you muslims have a congress he challenged me he must be a kid then because the smart muslims they will never dare to challenge me okay give me your id i will call you the one who says you challenge me, give me your ID. Give me your ID. I will call you. Or you want to post in a website that you want to challenge me, but you never want to talk to me. Give me your ID. I'm waiting. Guys, when he give me his ID, Sheikh Talha, we saw what? Sheikh Talha, we can talk to Sheikh Talha. Don't you want to have fun? Sheikh Talha is good. What is your ID, Sheikh Talha? 
What is your idea? It's just for fun, for a snack, better than nothing. You know, sitting there's no popcorn, there's nothing. Let us hear Sheikh Talha. Sheikh Talha, what is your idea? I mean, from all the Muslim wars, we could not find except Sheikh Talha. His ID is Congressman. Okay, let us search for a Congressman. Well, I'm sure you will find millions of people call themselves Congressmen now in, in Skype. See, when you are desperate trying to find somebody to talk to you, I mean, to answer you, uh, even Sheikh Talha is welcome. Which one is? There's many uh, Congressmen, my friend. There is Congress uh, po uh, uh, post parliament mentor, and then the the Congress. Uh, which one? I mean, there's many. Anyway, I'm not going to waste my time. Keep saying, you know, just get me uh, get me his uh, accurate ID, and I will call him. So look here, the Muslims they are showing you that if you have a brother. If you have a dog in your house, it is very dangerous because Allah will take from your deeds out. And actually, I want to tell you my own personal experience. I don't have a dog, and uh, uh, but I have a cousin. He's not the cousin, actually. He's the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of my cousin, which is the neighbor of the cousin of my cousin, which is like, you know, let us say he is from the... Uh, familia this cousin brother he used to have a lot of deeds and then he married to a woman she have a dog and then when he died brother he went to heaven and Allah he told him sorry he can't enter heaven he said Allah I used to pray to you I'm a Muslim I even did circumcision. Let me show you. Let me show you. Allah, He says, no, don't, don't get it out. Just, just keep it there. So Allah, why I will not go to heaven? Allah, He said to him, I have a surprise for you. Allah, He opened His record, brother, and then He checked. He says, you are having a dog for the last twenty years. All your deeds are gone, and now there is no place for you in heaven because of the dog. So the poor guy, he did circumcision. He cut it there. I mean, how suffering is going to be. And then he all of this prayer bending over, up and down, up and down. And then because he have a dog, he will not go to heaven. Do we have a solution for this, Muslims? <clears throat> is that right? So what we will do now? Erdogan, this is Erdogan when he was a when he was a kid. Somebody sent me a picture of Erdogan with a dog. Man, Erdogan is going to go to hell. Who is this guy? I mean, you are giving me a picture of somebody. Who is this guy anyway? Anyway, so where is the Abdul who want to call me? Anyone? Who is the Muslim who explain to us why Allah will take for a famous football player? Who care about famous football player? Give me a break. I mean, it's just a fun. Yeah, you know. I mean, why people they are they think that somebody is a, a football player is important? He's just a guy play with his foot. Ninety nine percent of them did not even have high school, and yet people worship with football player, football player. Like what a big deal! And then they became so rich because the people are stupid. You spend your life studying, working hard, and then the guy he go he play with his foot and he make millions. This is how stupid a human being is.
taka 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 what his name is taka taka lama al arabia ah okay that's a stupid idiot any muslim anyone okay i think we got mr congressman which is uh, <clears throat> maybe one of those kids call me congressman call me call me brother may allah keep your deeds in a safer place let me call you if you don't want to call hello 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 yes you are who are you uh, you know the second i see somebody trying to say, to change his accent it's mean he's a joker and you are not real why you are playing games wait you, you Just shut up We have not time for kids. Do we have any brave Abdul? Any smart one? What is this? What is this in the front of us? Ruling on having dogs, brother. Allah have rules in having dogs. The kingdom of Allah will be destroyed if you have a dog. Allah will hate you. Allah will destroy you. According to Islamic Sharia, it is not permitted to keep a dog except within narrowly the uh, the uh, defined uh, limit. As the Prophet peace upon him explained, whoever keeps a dog. His good deeds will be decreased every day. What do you say, Muslims? What do you say? Guys, let him, his shake, call me tomorrow. His shake will never call tomorrow. Not even next month, not even next year. You will see. If the sheikh is a, is a truthful, why you wanna call me tomorrow? What about call me today, yesterday, the day before, the day before, the day before, tomorrow? Like tomorrow, he have a better mean. Tomorrow is strong, only one day a week. I'm live every day. Call me tomorrow. A congressman, because you are a kid, you are making, uh, you are not real. Do we have any Muslim can you call us and explain to us why in the world your God will take from your deeds for having a dog? Because that's mean it's a big sin. What making have a dog a sin to Allah? What is the crime exactly you committed? Anyone can tell us? Why this dog, which I think is dangerous by the way. I mean look at him. Why, if I have this dog, I will go to hell? Any Mohammedan have an logic? Why, if we have this little... Like, I mean, dogs are the best friend for a human being. Since when dogs are bad? You know, a human, they kill. We, really, we heard about a dog, he killed somebody. But the human they kill every day they rape they torture they lie i mean it's a stupid dog it's a program the creature and he can be very loyal so why allah is angry from having a dog the story is very simple 
Muhammad he blamed a dog that the angels are not coming to his house because of the dog so Muhammad he created this story to cover his ass why I'm not receiving revelation oh because dogs was a dog was dead under my bed for a few days I mean how stinky the bed of the bedroom of Muhammad if a little tiny if you leave little meat little meat you know like just uh, in the size of your finger if you leave it under your bed for a few days the, the house that the room will stink what about having a dog is dead for a few days Muhammad did not smell it that's mean he's he stink more and Allah cannot enter the house of Muhammad that's mean he's out of options because what if what what about the angel he come to the bedroom of Muhammad and he say hey Muhammad look at the window don't enter the house huh scream from outside I mean this is an angel he can shake the earth with his sound hey Muhammad like they yeah, are strong voice like this Muhammad What about we wait to Muhammad until he get out? What Muhammad is staying 24 hours, seven days a week in the at home? He never leave. So Allah is out of options. Allah in disability because a puppy. Do you see how what puppy can do? And by the way, if you look at this guy, I mean, let me let me zoom in his head to show you how dangerous he is. Look, he is saying to he's, he's saying to us, "Do you know what I can do? You have no idea." Look at him. Look, look. I mean, just try to focus in his look and what he's trying to say to us. He's saying, like, do you know what I can do? If you do not know, ask Allah. Allah, one day, he was trying to deliver messages to Muhammad, and because of me, he could not get in. Allah and the angels, they cannot get inside any house, have a dog. And that explains why he's so proud. And look, look at his ears. I don't know if you can notice that he's like he's he's happy and excited that he have victory over Allah. Allah, he sent his messenger all the way, Jibreel, Mr. Jibreel, have six hundred wings. Look at those ears. Look, look. See, he's happy. Like, like I don't care. Allah fear me. I'm very dangerous. All right. And by the way, scientifically proving that Allah, he feared dogs. This is, a, yeah, scientifically. I mean, here we go. The prophet says so. I mean, unless you are saying the prophet is a liar. Jibreel, he cannot enter a house, have a dog. And if you notice with me, brother, to show you that this this person is evil according to Muhammad remember black color is a sign is a color of evil right that's why he ordered to kill all black dogs specifically do you see his nose brother yeah we will talk about how to clean yourself from dogs hold on we are not done do you see his nose here is the danger I think the angel he was like what the heck is that why his nose is like this I mean what is that and actually I feel suspicious about this dog I think he was wearing a suicide belt if you notice with me here there's like a bomb he will hit and if the angel get a close like boom I mean now I understand this is a suicide belt and this is the bomb to hit and then psh, boom the angel debris will be dead now Muhammad he taught the Muslims how to clean themselves from dogs if you touch a dog what will happen Muhammad he knew what to do let us see the solution <sighs> Unbelievable. Brother, I don't know if the text is clear. Let me make it smaller so we can hold on. All right, all right, all right. No, this website is not good for that. Okay, let me let me search. <clears throat> 
let me search for the hadith in the website here so we can show it better more clear text the messenger of Allah said if a dog lick the vessel let him wash it seven times here we notice the power of voodoo one time is not enough two times is not enough three time brother is not enough four time is not enough up to all fifth time is not good six time is not still any close seven time brother it's perfect and then after you wash it seven time you have to wash it with dirt i mean what's wrong with you after we wash the dish seven times now we make it dirty again ah uh, here he says the first dime with dust if a dog drink from the vessel of one of you let him wash it seven times let him wash it seven times let him wash it seven times the messenger of allah said if a dog licks the vessel of any of you <clears throat> let him throw it <clears throat> between two bracket the content hmm? and then wash it seven times but here i have a question by the way i mean if a dog he lick your dish you have to wash the dish seven times but your prophet he says if a fly fell in your soup you have to dip the fly inside the soup so let us make it here uh, let us uh, focus a little bit We will be careful. If a fly falls into your soup, and this is need some advertising here. Hold on, I mean we need some uh, uh, image explanation. We cannot just do it this way because some people do not know even what the, the word "fly" mean. <clears throat> all this time to find the fly I mean is it like is it uh, is it hard to find a fly these days I'm looking for an image of a fly I know what's wrong look like it's a mission impossible all right a brother a brother according to the prophet if a dog lick your dish even if it's empty you have to wash it seven times but if a fly fell down in your dish while you are eating you need to dip the fly inside the soup And the prophet said the reason for that brother because there is a disease in one wing and there is a cure in the other wing do we have any muslim in the bushes who agree with muhammad saying that that if a fly fell in your soup dip it dip it Narrated by Abu Huraira, the father of the cats. I wonder why his name is not the father of the dogs. By the way, the last name of Muhammad, in case you do not know, is dogs. I'm serious. 
His last name, you know, his grandfather, Qusay ibn Kilab. The last name of Muhammad is dogs. Unbelievable. Narrated Abu Huraira. Allah Messenger, S-A-W-F-M, shortwave, said, when a fly falls in the drink of one of you, he should fully dip it in and throw it away because there is a disease in one of the wings and a cure in the others. By the way, this is very much scientifically accurate. I always do that. Who want to have a lunch in my house? And I want to invite you. We are going to do that life, brother. An experiment. We are going to open the windows, and then the flies they come, and then we we when they when they stop at the edge of your dish, we like glue from your mouth on them, and they fill in the soup. And then, brother, what do you do, brother? You dip it, dip it, dip it, and then throw it. And here the wisdom here. This is secret. I mean, look at this knowledge, man. This guy is Dr. Muhammad. So if a dog he lick my dish, I have to wash it seven times, including the first time with dust. And then if a fly came in my soup, I dip it. Which one is more dirty? Actually, according to science, by the way, Muhammad, he said, he claimed that uh, cats are clean. Cats are clean. According to science, not according to me, cats teeth and bacteria in their mouth are a lot more dangerous to the point of a cat she she bite even though her bite is not harmful as the teeth of uh, as injury the teeth of a dog but the fact that cats bites are more severe because they can cause a very serious infection And this is science. Have nothing to do with Christians. Have nothing to do with Islam. Cat's bite can even lead to death. Because they insert inside your skin a very bad bacteria. Dog's bite is more harmful as a strength because he have bigger teeth and his jaw is a lot more strong but because the mouth of a cat is a lot more dirty and more bacteria is there then you are going to have you will wish a dog to bite you not a cat and this is science this is have nothing to do with the christians have nothing to do with the jews this is pure science you can search in google and you will find right now going back to the story of the fly by the way and why Muhammad did not say kill the fly did you notice that he said he said kill the dogs but he did not kill the fly look he said you see the mercy prophet this you see the mercy the prophet he ordered to kill all the dogs but the prophet he decided to save the life of the fly so when the fly fell down in your soup what do you do you don't kill it, dip it. In other way, wash it in your soup. Dip it like, and then all the things that stuck in the fly will drop in your soup. And then, brother, you take the fly and say, "Fly, can you please go?" The Prophet of Allah, he spare your life. So the Prophet of Allah, he ordered to kill dogs who don't jump in our soup, and he did not kill the fly who is jumping in his soup. Claiming that fly are clean and the wings of the fly have a medicine and the wing of the fly have a disease And look at the wisdom of Allah He created a disease in the right wing or left wing and a cure in the other wing Alhamdulillah brother hey, Muslims as I know wings have nothing to do with this wings are made from certain material like our nails and actually they are the most clean part of the fly because they move so fast and nothing is stuck on them to the point we can see through them this is how clean they are the dirt is the disease can be found bacteria in the hair of their legs in their mouth but not in the wings 
So here we see how silly the cult of Islam today. Somebody saying what? Why it's not allowed to marry a divorced woman? You are asking me as a Christian? No. The Bible allow you to marry a divorced woman if she is divorced but not from adultery. Which means a person who divorce, a person who divorce, he can divorce. He can divorce a woman, but a woman she is committing adultery. So if you marry a woman who is divorced, that's mean you are marry a woman who divorced from adultery, you are marrying an adulteress. That's what the Bible says. So don't fabricate stories from your own. However, your prophet he come with better solution. Your prophet said, if your mother she got divorced three times, she have to sleep with other Abdul, and then the other Abdul he have to taste her juice in the bedroom. And you know what I'm talking about. And then after he tastes her juice, then she can go back to your father. So what Jesus was teaching that women and men they have to stay holy and not to cheat. Divorce women marriage is not a joke. It's not a game. You don't marry and divorce, marry and divorce. It's what Jesus is saying. But in your religion, look what your prophet said. And this is by the way, Quran, not only Hadith. The prophet of Allah, he said to the women who want to go back to her husband, if your intention to go back to your previous husband, you need to know, sister, that you cannot go back to your husband unless he tastes your juice. And you taste his juice. Can you please tell us what juice we are talking about? Hmm? Abdul, are you there? The one who's trying to make fun of Christianity? Why you go mute? <clears throat> Show us your wisdom. So Jesus was saying to the Christians, don't do what the, many of the Jews they do. They marry, divorce, marry, divorce, because the one who have money, you know, he use women. They, he get them, he marry them when they are young, and then, then he dump them when they are old. So Jesus, he prevented us from using God teaching in order to abuse people. Because God says you go and marry. Okay, we go marry to marry, not to marry and divorce and marry and divorce and play games. While in Islam, you can have, actually the Quran never says go and marry one. The Quran says go and if two and three and four. And if you cannot afford it, one. Do you want me, brother, to show you the verses? There's no marriage in Islam. Chapter 4, verse number 3. Go and if. And look here. If you cannot be justly with the orphan. What the orphan have to do with having sex with them? Are you going to have sex with the orphan? Eh, the logic of Muhammad. Brother, marry other women. So you marry orphans? You want to marry kids? And by the way, even the word marriage does not exist. It says, finkihu. Two or a three or four, and if you cannot afford it, then one. So the last option is one. In Christianity, Jesus is totally the opposite. This is why when Jesus Muslim they say Jesus was a Muslim, we love. While Muslims, they encourage you to have as many as women you wish. Not only four, by the way, four at the time, but there is no limit. You can have one four thousand. You can have four millions, as long as you can afford it. If you cannot afford it, only you go for one. That here the Muslim, by the way, is trying to take us away from the wisdom of the Prophet and the fly and the dog. And actually, by the way, if anyone can find this dog, please call the Sharia law. Allah is in risk. The Prophet Islam is in risk. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? By the way, I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm not a prophet and my name is Muhammad and then a dog is under my bed. And then what? Angels is not coming to my house. 
You see, by the way, I was wondering. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just remember a hadith. Abu Huraira reported a messenger says as saying when you listen to the crowing of the kokokoroko ask Allah for his favor for as sees angels and when you listen to the burying of the donkey oh, oh, seek refuge in Allah for he sees Satan here we notice that Muhammad he have a PhD in animal science fly dog cats even lizard and now the best and the most reliable alarm system in the world question how come muhammad when he saw the angel he could not recognize if he is an angel or he is a shaitan but yet mr cuckoo cuckoo he can notice that this is an angel that's mean that cuckoo cuckoo is more qualified to be a prophet or even Mr. Donkey is more qualified. I saw once a Muslim saying, do you know that the Bible says that God, he used the mouth of the donkey to speak? <laughs> My friend, God, he made you speak too. That's a miracle because you are not better than the donkey. Look at you, what you believe. What is this? Muhammad he asked his wife to do a striptease, if you remember, and the Muslim they have it under a big section in their book. It's so it's called Khadija Wamtihan al Wahi. Khadija examining the inspiration of Allah. How by striptease? We do not need striptease, just to bring a cuckoo cuckoo. Go to Jamaica, there's all over. You go into Jamaica, you find the rooster everywhere. There's more rooster than population. Like I was walking in Jamaica and I was wondering in which country I am. Am I in Jamaica or I am in the Kokoroku uh, rooster country? For every one Jamaican citizen, there's like a 20 rooster around his house. And now I understand they are they're waiting for the angels. You don't want the angel to come by and you don't hear him or you don't notice he is there. So you ask Allah, look, prophet, look what the prophet said. Okay, this is very serious, guys. Look, he says, when you listen to the crowing of the cook, ask Allah for favor. So now, every day I want to ask Allah for favor, but I don't have a rooster. And now I know where is my weakness, why uh, uh, Allah is not answering my prayer. Because the uh, angel come by, we don't know. But if we have a rooster, you know, I mean, this is uh, so beautiful. I don't know sometime I don't know why we don't we are not smart we don't think wise like the prophet this is by the way very deep rooster notice here it's a rooster not a chicken no way a female can be involved it must be a married chicken And you know, I was asking myself always, why rooster have a big antenna in their head? And I could not really find an answer, to be honest with you. But now I understand better that obviously those antenna in their head, because they are receiving special waves, microwaves, which nobody can see, nobody can hear, only rooster. And here you notice the science of the prophet and the discovery of Islam. Look at this. And look at his head. Look, now he is listening to something. He heard something. Like, what? what, what don't, don't talk. He's saying to the chickens, to his wives, don't, 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 don't even open your mouth. Don't even lay eggs. I, I heard something. And then the rooster, he hear it, and then like, kukuruku. That is science.
In Islam, everybody is involved. Even rats. Have you ever heard of a rat who is a believer in Allah? If you don't believe me, I can show you. You want to see? Hold on. Muhammad discovered where rats are coming from. According to Muhammad, by the way, they are the enemy of Allah. There is five enemy for Allah. And by the way, uh, the five enemies are very scary. But look at this here. Where is the hadith? Here we go. Look at this. I mean, here you see the Muhammad. He is a prof. He is a professor in an analyzing information. Nobody have such an intelligence. The Prophet said a group of Israeli were lost. Nobody knows what they did. Look here at the suspense. Look, look, look. Nobody knows what they. I mean, do you notice? I'm not sure if you notice what I mean. This is here suspense. This is like. Like if you have a background in music with this, like a group of Israeli were lost, and nobody knows what they did. Music, but, but, and always I have a problem with this word. But you say to somebody, "Can you do this?" You say to you, "I can do it." But okay, may Allah but you. But I don't see them except. They were cursed and changed into rats. Like, what the heck? How did the Prophet know that? Rats? Are you sure not Zaraf? Oh, what about... Uh, I mean, rats? Huh. Very interesting. Brother? Actually... All my life I was wondering about things happening around us and the more I learn about Allah Prophet the more I learn the wisdom of Allah according to the Prophet this rat he is a Jew and how the Prophet discovered that this rat is a Jew which Allah he curse him and make him a rat oh, by the way I saw many movies like that I mean kind of come on we cannot deny it how many of you watched the movie where a prince became a frog? Not me. Be honest, did you see this movie? This movie is a true story, by the way. And then the princess, she come and she kiss him. By the way, this is the princess here. She is holding him. She is going to kiss him, and then he will become a Jewish prince. Yeah, I think this is the ancestor of, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Jack Shalom. So look what Muhammad said here with his wisdom, special experience and knowledge. I don't see them. They are lost. First of all, they are lost. Look, notice with me here. They are lost. Nobody knows where they go. They are gone. Disappear. Huh? Why? The logic. Look at the logic. Look, story is told in a very ew, mean. But I do not know see them except they were cursed and changed into rats. For if you put the milk of a she camel in the front of a rat, it will not drink it. But if you put the milk of a sheep, what will drink it? He must be a Jew then. Jews don't drink she camel. Look at the intelligence. This rat, he drink she camel? No, he don't. He drink only she milk. Obviously, he is an Orthodox Jew. I mean, isn't it obvious? What's wrong with you people? Hey, well, hold on. Uh, I, 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 I will go with Muhammad uh, logic. Okay. Uh, uh, mosquito uh, don't drink uh, alcohol. Does that mean she is a Muslim? And she drink blood. A brother Khalid ibn Walid, he cooked a man and he ate him. And he took his wife and he raped her. Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, can we compare this to all kinds of animals? Because this is weird. Monkeys, they drink piss. Muslims, they drink piss. 
Does that mean monkeys are Muslims? No. Because the brother, the prophet, he said that actually, yes, they are. Sorry to say so. According to Muslims, once they found a monkey who committed adultery. And the Muslim monkey, they took her to Sharia law court and they stoned her. And you will notice, brother, here that this filthy monkey, sister, she committed illegal sexual intercourse. How disgusting. And by the way, this monkey, after she had sex with the boyfriend, she acted as if she knew nothing. She saw nothing. Like, like what? They said to her, did you have sex with this guy? She said, like, what? Not me. Yeah, like she played like she is not guilty. Like, what? A monkey, she committed illegal sexual intercourse. Oh, like, what are you talking about? I did nothing. Like, hello? And then the brothers, the brothers, by the way, those are joining Muslim Brotherhood. They took her to Sharia court and they stoned her. And the Abdul, he said, and I stone her with them. True story. Actually, the story is more complicated than this. If you have my book, Six and Allah, you can read more about the hilarious part of the story, which is not here. Where the, the monkey, female monkey, her husband was sleeping over her hand, and then she like, slowly she took her hand under the, uh, you know, the, the head of the husband without the poor guy noticing. I mean, how disgusting. Oh, never more never marry a monkey. I, I will never do that So she took her hand from under the head of her husband because uh, another monkey from behind a tree He said to her <laughs> you know like which mean like ah, I am sexy and I know it and Then she left and she had boom boom behind the tree and then she came back a brother and she put her hand under the bed or sorry, under the head of her husband, the one she married according to Allah Sharia law, hoping that he would not notice. But the brother, Allah alarmed the husband. So he started sniffing her private part. And you know, brother, monkeys, they do that. And when he sniffed there, he was like, what the heck is this? Where the smell is coming from? Look at this, brother. So this is how they discover that his wife, by the way, this is the second wife, not the first wife. This is a new monkey. She is a cheating on him. So he starts screaming <laughs> and all the monkeys come from everywhere and they start investigating and they ask her all kinds of serious questions. What his name? Where you met him? He was, did he text you on Facebook? Is he in Twitter? What his page there? So brother, all Muslim stories are true. You cannot suspect any story. Even the ice cream guy, he agree. Did you hear the ice cream guy outside? I don't know if you can hear him. Because we need ice cream after this. I mean, who in the world is going to marry a monkey after this? A monkey committing illegal sexual intercourse? She is a Muslim, following Sharia law. Brother, everything is a Muslim. If you go to the zoo and you are a Muslim and you see any monkey committing Sharia law, are you going to stone her brother? <sighs> I don't know what to say. And they want us to convert to such a stupid cult. It's called Islam. A religion consider such a dog an enemy to Allah. I hope we learn something new for today. And uh, please feel free to download my videos. We don't keep them for long. And share them around and let everybody see how stupid this cult is this is the most stupid cult ever you can imagine i don't know even how for a second a human being can believe in this 
You see, this dog is smarter than a human being sometimes. He will not if you if you if you put the Quran in front of him for hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, did you see the video where the cat is not stepping in the Quran? I mean, that's amazing, brother. Did you see the video where the cat is not stepping in the Quran? You must. I mean, it's like wow. What the Muslim they do, they do anything for the videos, and the cat is not stepping in the Quran. It's a holy book. The cat she knew, not like the dog. The cat is a Muslim. And millions of people watch the videos and all the Muslims. Alhamdulillah, brother. Alhamdulillah, brother. And uh, then a brother, a uh, 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 brothers of uh, we know all of us. His name is uh, David Wood. Uh, look like he have a friend who have a, <clears throat> who have a cat. He did this experiment on the cat. Hi everyone. Well, you might notice the background here. I'm at my friend's house and he has a cat. Why am I recording another cat video? Well, I recorded a video responding to a disturbingly common Muslim argument claiming that the Quran must be miraculous and from God because a cat will not walk on it. So I tested that over and over again. That and the Quran it took me on average about half a second to two seconds to get a cat to walk on the Quran each time. You're kidding. Oh my goodness. Look at those Qurans. But there are people who want to defend this absurd claim. So they replied in hundreds of comments that the texts I was using weren't Qurans. <laughs> Guys, hold on, hold on. Do you see the guys? He said to him, Are you sure the Quran is in Arabic? Because the cat, if it's in Arabic, will not step. If the Quran in English is going to step, brother. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see the comment? He's saying, Are you sure it's in Arabic? Unbelievable. This is not Quran. This is not in Arabic. It have to be in Arabic, brother. The real Quran is fully in Arabic. Do you see it? Do you see this in the comment? The real Quran, brother, is fully in Arabic. The Quran you bought for us is not Arabic. I have right here the text I was using. Um, here we have a variety of Qurans, which they say weren't Qurans, they were dictionaries. So I heard dictionaries, they were phone books, they were random Arabic books, but they weren't Qurans. Oddly enough, those same people would complain that I set the Qurans on the floor. I'd complain if they're not really Qurans. But uh, let's go ahead and flip through some of these books to see what they actually are. Notice that it says the Quran. That's odd, considering it's just a dictionary. You can zoom in on this and see it in the original video. Arabic text with corresponding English meanings. And what you have here is you have the English translation over here, and you have the Arabic. This is the full Arabic text of the Quran. You have the entire Quran from Surah 1 all the way to Surah 114 the entire Arabic text of the Quran. Here we also have the Quran. We have the full Arabic text and English translation, some notes and so on. So, Arabic text of the Quran, Arabic text of the Quran, Arabic text of the Quran. This is the full Arabic text of the Quran. Here we have the Noble Quran, odd title for a book that's simply a dictionary. 
Once again, we have the English text and we have the Arabic text, the full Arabic text of the Quran. And yet for some reason, it's not a Quran, even though it contains the full Arabic text of the Quran. Full Arabic text of the Quran. Lots of English translation, lots of notes, you have introductions, but you also have the full Arabic text of the Quran. And yet we're told that this isn't the Quran. So basically you have two different kinds of claims. You have one, people saying that these are just dictionaries or, or some other random texts. I hope you see at least that these are uh, Qurans here. Uh, but then we have another claim, which is that if any translation is added, it's no longer the Quran. So if you have the full Arabic text of the Quran and you add a word of translation, suddenly you have just destroyed the Quran. It's no longer the Quran. Now, why is that odd? Well, the word Quran means recitation, right? It's something to be recited. You write it down in the text because that's the text that is to be recited. So if you have the text in Arabic that's to be recited, then you've got the Quran. But according to our friends out there, it's not the Quran if it has an English translation beside it. So notice, if you were to say, that you have the entire Arabic text of the Quran memorized. If you went to classes and memorized the entire text of the Quran, if you know the translation for any one of those verses, you don't have the Quran memorized because you've also got another language in your mind. See how silly this is? But I aim to please my friends. And so we're going to put this to yet another test. Our friends say that these Qurans are not real Qurans because they're not just in Arabic. If they were only in Arabic, then we could actually have ourselves a little test. Well, we're going to go ahead and have a little test here. I have a can of cat food. Remember, that was the original claim. The original claim is that a cat will not walk on a Quran, step on a Quran for food. We're going to test it. Will a cat step on the Quran to get to some food? Let's test it with some Arabic text. So we have here a variety of Arabic Qurans. And we have the cat is some coming. delicious cat food. This cat is already stepping on. <laughs> hey, look, where's that cat stepping? Where's the cat stepping? What is that? Unbelievable. Haram, brother. This is impossible. Very disturbing. How come the Muslim video is not a stepping? How come? On the Quran? And it's currently stepping on multiple Qurans. What's wrong with this cat? What's this book? You tell me what this book is. What is it? Because one comment I see over and over again is, just because a book's in Arabic doesn't make it the Quran. Well, that's true, but we're not talking about any book that happens to be written in Arabic. We're talking about what this book is. What is this book? Mickey what Mouse. What is it? Mickey Mouse. If we flip through this book, what is it? <laughs> is this Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Regular dry cat food. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you willing to walk uh -oh, on that Don't Quran? step. Don't that step. Don't step in the Quran. Right on the Quran. Me. Wasn't that the claim? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because people also said that because I had more than one Quran there, that somehow disturbs the Quran. Come here. Okay, one, one Quran now. One Quran. This cat is walking all over that Quran. That was the exact challenge, ladies and gentlemen. The exact challenge was whether a You see how they try to deceive you? They fabricate videos, they do anything for them. You know, like a Catholic, a response of a Catholic, react of a Catholic, and there's millions of people watch the video. They knew how to deceive. A react of a Catholic. What about you show me the react of an Arab like me? Oh, like this dog. <laughs> Actually, they have even a video react for for Adan. <laughs> what a crazy cut. I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. This is a religion can stand only and have a place only if they deceive, for it is satanic. Ask yourself why Muslims they fabricate stories like this unless they are following Satan. If your religion, whatever it is, you do not need to lie and fabricate videos to make people believe in something is not true. Only people who follow Satan, they do this. This is a pure satanic religion. And you will see all the Muslims, they sponsor the lie. They knew it's a lie. They knew everything is a lie.
but they sponsor lies because this is a religion of lies and Jesus the Messiah our Lord he said that the father of all lies is who somebody tell me in the text please who is the father of all lies what Jesus said who is the father of all lies I'm not going to say who Satan Satan the father of all lies is Satan and Islam is nothing but made by its father Satan thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and if you have a dog like this he is very cute he's very beautiful enjoy him those are poor animals they are not our enemies actually dogs are the best friend for mankind through histories for me myself if I want to have a dog but I cannot I wish actually you know I travel a lot I don't have anyone to take care of him etc otherwise dogs are very, very beautiful you know I will not let the dog lick me and etc I mean that's not really right but a dog is a beautiful creature he's a good friend he's loyal so why dog is our enemy this is how silly this cult is but I will tell you a very easy understanding why Muhammad hated dogs dogs they can feel bad energy they feel it so when they feel bad energy they go aggressive and obviously Muhammad never been welcomed by any dog for he have a very evil energy inside him and this is why Muhammad he hated dogs if you are a Muslim and you have other better explanation please leave your comment in the text down and let us see how you can explain such a madness that angels cannot enter a house have a dog that Almighty God he stopped his message to Muhammad because of a dog like this how silly how stupid thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord and Islam is absolutely big fat lie and false see ya